Yesterday, we told you about a bill that would allow a local hydrogen plant to expand. Wabash Valley Resources says expanding would ultimately benefit the community. But now, some local farmers say it doesn't have their best interests in mind. News 10's Caitlin Hunt is continuing her coverage on the expansion today. She explains why some people are concerned. Terry Hayhurst is a farmer in southern Vigo County. While he mostly focuses on growing crops on his land, he's also had to deal with companies asking to use his land for other purposes. We've had oil companies come through and, and talk about maybe drilling. And so you go through a process where they come in and, and they say, well, we'll give you either a percentage or we'll give you X amount of dollars. Hager says this process is vital to the livelihood of farmers. And that's why he and the Indiana Farm Bureau are speaking out against Senate Bill 451. The Indiana Farm Bureau says the outline negotiation process will hurt landowners. The farmer will receive a written offer uh, from the company uh, and that if they don't agree to that written offer, then they can request mediation. Um, and if that fails, they can then sue to receive a set price in the bill. The bill would set the price at the end of that litigation at the price of natural gas storage. Cummins says he prefers another negotiation process outlined in House Enrolled Bill 1209. Those landowners in that area of review have to agree. 70% of those landowners have to agree uh, to consent to the poor space usage uh, before the project can start. Cummins says right now, WVR does not need permission from landowners to begin the project. That's as long as they have EPA approval. He says more protective measures will get landowners the money they deserve and keep farmers from being taken advantage of. Hayhurst agrees. If you let one industry take advantage of the situation, then you're going to have everybody else expecting they can just have this, this valuable resource that we have underground without being compensated. Wabash Valley Resources says it is willing to negotiate with landowners a fair compensation. This bill will be read for the third time in the Senate on Monday. In the newsroom, Caitlin Hunt, News 10.